Tip number 74. If it's not necessary, you may not want to use a hierarchical schematic design. When I say hierarchical schematic design, this is what I mean. Yeah. This is example from Altium Designer, but it's very simple also for other CAD systems. The, the idea behind the hierarchical design is, uh, for example, if you have small part of your circuit used multiple times in your schematic, the idea is only create the circuit once, about this circuit create this kind of block, and in rest of the schematic just use the block. So you don't have to create same schematic pages many times. Yeah? You only create it once and you create then and you use these green blocks which are about the schematic page or schematic pages which you would like to use multiple times in your schematic. Uh, there are also some other situations how you may want to use this hierarchical design. One of uh, the situation is, that's what, uh, what uh, I was trying to do. You know, when I saw this hierarchical design, I saw like, it's awesome, I'm going to use it. So the plan, how I wanted to use it was uh, that I create, for example, internet page. And about this internet page, I just place this uh, block with the inputs and outputs going to the Ethernet page. And every time when I would like to use Ethernet, everything what I have to do, I just use this green block yeah, and connect it and that's it. I don't really need to care what is behind the block. If I would like to use audio, I just use the green block, connect the green block and that's it. I don't need to draw the audio pages anymore. The thing is, uh, when I try to create project this way, it didn't work. Uh, it didn't work out very well. the The board was working okay, yeah, but the feedback from people who had to use this schematic after me, it was like, what? What do you think? What was the problem when I used this? green blocks when I use this hierarchical schematic for the board. The main issue was that it was very hard to follow the signals. I don't have example of this project, but I try to explain it. So imagine it was a complex board. So I created this green block about the processor. And then uh, I created this green block about Ethernet and audio and these chips. And on the top of these green blocks, I had another green block where everything was connected together. So it was like three level schematic. The thing is, if uh, or when people wanted to check a uh, connection between processor and the Ethernet, what do you think, what they had to do, how they needed to follow the signal? They needed to go from the uh, processor page, where was the processor symbol. They needed to go to this green block of the processor. Then they needed to go to different page, where was the all, where was the big green block connecting all the pages together. And from this big block, they needed to go to the small green block of Ethernet. And from this small green of the small green block of Ethernet, they needed to go to the Ethernet page. It was so difficult, so difficult. Yeah, it's much more difficult than if you have flat design, you just follow the signal from the processor directly to the Ethernet page. It's very simple. That's not all. When I was creating this schematic, I found it very hard to keep updating all the pages with these green blocks. Don't forget, if you make any change in the schematic, for example, if you change some uh, signals, which if you change some signals on the Ethernet page, which are connected to the processor page, you need to update the green blocks. You need to update the 
connections between the green blocks and you need to be sure all these three additional pages are correct. So by adding this hierarchy, you are increasing the risk of making mistake in your schematic because instead of checking uh, two pages, the processor page and the, and the Ethernet page, you also need to be sure that the pages with the green blocks of the processor and Ethernet are correct and also the very top green block connecting everything. Uh, since then, I never used the uh, hierarchy. I use a very simple one, like you can see here, uh, but only it's because of legacy, because uh, I'm not sure if uh, Altium still has this problem, but uh, I use this top page because uh, in uh, old Altium Designer, I had problems to use uh, these uh, numbers close to the ports. It didn't want to generate it correctly if there was not a one level hierarchy. Maybe it, they fix it now, I don't know. So that's only reason why I create this top page with the green blocks, otherwise I wouldn't create it. Some people will argue that the uh, hierarchy is very good because uh, it clearly uh, gives you idea what is on the board and they do not need to create block diagrams. Mm, I'm not 100% uh, convinced about this. Yeah, block diagrams uh, are always very useful and I think they explain much more than... Uh, than uh, what is this? I use new Altium and see, can you see this? It's upside down. I notice it also here. Wow. Okay, I hope they will fix it. So I think the block diagrams are much better than uh, trying to replace them with this uh, hierarchy. Uh, yeah, but it's really up to you. So based on my experience, I uh, usually create only the flat, uh, flat schematics. And uh, there may be some situations when you really need to use three, four, uh, you need to use small circuit three or four times on your PCB or in your schematic, then hierarchy, I believe it's useful. But if you do not have multiple uh, circuits, same circuits in your schematic, consider do not use hierarchy. Because your life will be easier and all the people who are going to read your schematic, all their lives will be easier. Tip number 74, if it's not necessary, you may not want to use a hierarchical schematic design. Why? Hierarchical design may be hard to follow and read. It adds additional work and it can bring in unnecessary mistakes. 